Hello there, it's Tara, and today we're going to be exploring CoSpace's EDU. CoSpace is an easy VR tool that lets anyone create virtual reality experiences on a computer or a tablet. Today I'm going to be working from the web-based version. Um, the app is very comparable to what you're going to see, but if you want to take advantage of some of the coding features, you're going to want to use your computer um, to build spaces. When you go into CoSpaces, you have two choices. You can go into the Maker version or the CoSpaces EDU. You'll find that the CoSpaces Maker version is becoming more and more limited, so you're definitely going to want to set up your account with CoSpaces EDU. Once you choose CoSpaces EDU, it's going to give you the basic um, setup of an account. And once your account is created, you're going to see have some a few different spaces that you can go in. The first one is the gallery. This is a great place to go for examples to show to students, but also a really nice place to go in and explore. And if you do see spaces that you like and you like the way that they have coded something um, specific, you can actually go in and see what the process was for doing that or how they've, how they've coded and set it up. So that's a really nice feature here. When you go into My Classes, you have the option to create a class and then classes um, set up assignments within those classes. This is a place for learners and instructors to connect. Once you create an assignment and students create an account and, and accept your assignment, you're able to work right along with them to collaborate and access their spaces as they go through their project. This is a really nice place to manage students. Underneath the My Spaces section, this is where you or your students will go to create a space. It's quite simple to create a space. You're going to click Create a Space and you're going to see that you have a blank slate. The only thing that you will see is the camera. This is used to show what the, where the viewer will be positioned when they're viewing your space. So I can move my camera up or down. I can um, change the angle at which it's directed. And you're going to see that you have these options um, as you begin to add objects to your space. So the first place I would start would be the environment. And from here, I can pick spaces that are already created for me, but you also have the option to upload your own picture. So I'm going to click into the library, and what's really nice is that I can just drag and drop items from the library onto my space. So from here, I can make things bigger can make things smaller, change the position, and when I want to customize any of the objects, I'm going to right click. You can see the different options that I have there. One of the things students love to do is to make things move, and so if any of the objects have the ability to be animated, you can tap right click and get that option here. And now I want to go preview what it is that I've made. So I'm going to hit play. You can see there's my person. Do you notice when I come over, I have my bird and he's flying, but he's not flying anywhere. To actually have objects move across the screen and throughout your space is where you're going to need to use some of the coding um, features in the app. So I'm going to click on code. And the language I'm going to choose is Blockly. What you're going to want to make sure once you get into the coding piece is that you right click and name the object. So you can see this is called bird, but if I were to, to add multiple birds, I may want to put bird one, bird two, and I want to make sure that it can be used in Blockly. Because once I get in there, I'm going to pull up my transitions and you can see that I can move the bird and I may want to move him a certain distance and give him a certain time period to do that and adjust the speed at which, he, at which he moves. So now, when I go to play in my space, you can see my bird flying across the field. Once you've created your space, you're going to want to share it. Click on Share to get the link that's attached to your space or use your iPod or phone to scan the QR code 
uh, and use the CoSpaces EDU app with a VR headset to really have the virtual reality experience. And what's so powerful about this is that students can experience this and it's a space that they have created. So thank you for your interest in CoSpaces EDU and be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us.